We're live. What's up, everybody? I'm Javi Guzman with Mr. Phone Doctor, and I got Nicole from Cellbotics here. Hello. To today we wanted to do a little live and basically do a little introduction on refurb for everyone out there that is interested in getting into the refurb industry. Uh, we just want to go over and touch base and show you guys how easy it is with refurb to make about a uh, 3K extra in monthly revenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I'm going to post the link to your ebook that you made. Yeah, definitely do it. We have an ebook here that we actually created. So Nicole is going on and put, uh, going to post this ebook, which it's basically a little uh, step by step guide to help you guys, uh, you know, see how you can uh, basically get those different revenue streams mm -hmm. uh, with refurb. You know, you can basically start from, you know, buying and flipping phones, getting into B2B and, of course, opening up different platforms with the refurb. You know, but but the major thing, I think the biggest topic that we do want to cover on uh, on why we want to do this is, you know, for the e-waste, you know, uh, e-waste is a big yeah. thing out there. And you're basically giving devices a second life and reducing the e-waste, which is going to benefit our environment and everything. So um, that's just one big thing. And the beautiful part about this, um, Nicole and I, we partnered. So we are going to be hosting these trainings for you all to learn online. Mm -hmm. So if it's something that's a little too difficult for you to leave your store you can do this in the comfort of your own home or in your shop and get trained uh video video uh, via video courses i mean what about if somebody doesn't have a store and they want to do this from home it's it's something definitely something do? you could do from home of course um a little backstory on myself that's that's pretty much how i got started mm -hmm. we got started in the back bedroom so um you know we bought equipment we started tinkering around with phones and we bought a lot of screens and we just began in, in our back bedroom. And then from the back bedroom, we actually started doing a mobile repairs. This was about seven years ago. So we bought a little van, outfitted a van and drove to <laughs> clients. So that's basically our our our, our breaking story kind of, uh, getting into the industry. Wow, okay. So if somebody wants to start refurb, the thing that I get the most, the most issues is the cost of the equipment, where to source it mm -hmm. and how to master the skill yes and you honestly those are, those, all, <laughs> those are all topics that are definitely something that that we do run across and the thing is let, let's first cover about the equipment you know um when you're first getting into this industry you're, you're searching on google you're looking on youtube and you're finding all kinds of different types of equipment and and tooling and stuff and that's the thing that's kind of one thing that got us behind because we bought all this equipment and we found out later on that we're like, oh, man, this is not doing what we wanted it to do. So, um, you know, a, a beautiful part about having someone, uh, a mentor in the industry is they can guide you the right way, show you the right equipment and show you how to use it. So, um, you know, and that's one thing that we are offering as well on our on our website, training.mrphonedoctor.com. Uh, we have the uh, equipment for sale so you can purchase all the equipment, and everything like that. And so it's because sometimes when you source from another country, you do run into some issues and then you don't have support. Yes, exactly. And that's that's another biggest factor as well as the support. You know, um, I do recommend buying from someone here in the U.S. that has uh, your hours of operation. That way you can get support when you do need it, because most of the times you're going to be doing this from an eight to five uh, perspective, hourly time mm -hmm. zone. So if you're buying this and you're waiting for someone in China to wake up and answer a question, you know, you're going to be already, you know, in the midnight hours. So, yeah, I do highly recommend getting from U.S. support and, and getting trained, which is a, a key thing. You know, um, beginners, anyone that has no idea on this industry can definitely get started. It's 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 not that hard when you have the right mentorship. Right. Um, so Stellar Cellular says we'll reach out via the link. Would love to take your training. I did call about a month ago. I left my contact. Ah, okay. Yeah, awesome. Uh, leave your contact down again below and we'll touch base with you. But uh, mm -hmm. I know Nicole's going to be sharing the link as well for the, the video training courses online. So if you are interested in doing that, you can do that do online. That too. Hold on one second. Okay. Yep. So we have a iPhone training right now. And then we have a Samsung that we're going to be uploading on there on the platform as well. Yeah. And there's a package where you get all of them or you can buy small courses just about mm -hmm. one device, which I really liked because it's like, hundred bucks, you know what I mean? And you just go learn about that one course, you know? Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. So we have it broken up. So that way, if you're stuck in a certain area, if it's glass removal, cleaning or laminating, you can just get that one course and, and we'll go ahead and guide you on, on that process. Because I know there's a lot of you out there that have already, 
mastered and figured out one one uh, part of the repair and you're getting stuck on another one. So that's why we want to break it up to make it easier for you. And then, of course, consultation. We can do a live one on one consultation and help you break through to that to that next uh, step in the repair process. Got it. OK. And once you guys purchase on the platform, you get right in and you can start taking it and then um you know hobby's team has actually been in there putting in the course so i know they've got information in there on how to contact you and reach out for help and all that kind of stuff so we also have a chat on there so if you chat in they will definitely get that information be able to reach out to you if you have any questions or anything um so let's talk more about this 3k a month what yes. does that look like are you slaving every day are you like i mean this is really difficult to do or is this something that's very obtainable like you know you it, it it is obtainable I'm, I'm like i'll be honest and upfront you know at first it is something where you are going to have to put some time and effort in because the thing is you want to either learn everything yourself or have someone that you can trust and that's going you're going to send out and have them learn everything 100 percent because um, i know sometimes turnover is high if you're sending someone out there and you lose them you know a month or two later there you are starting all over again so i really do recommend for the owners to come down understand how to do this and from there they, they they know the knowledge and so if they train someone they lose an employee they're not back at the beginning again so uh, but in the beginning yes you are going to need to spend some time just like anything you know it's it's a school and you need to learn and with mm -hmm. learning everything takes time right and uh because you guys also do in person where's mm -hmm. your in person located uh our in-person facility is located in las cruces new mexico it's about an hour north of el paso texas so uh the beautiful parts were centrally located weather here is great all year round so you know you, you get get out here beautiful weather no need to worry about delays snow anything like that so what and website uh, is that that they can find out about that and that website it. is training.mrphonedoctor.com i'll go ahead and post that here on the private chat for everyone that's interested you can visit that website and of course that's where we have all our equipment and all that on, on there as well and i'm trying to post mm -hmm. i don't i think you might have to post that nicole if you could okay please. yeah if you uh Let's see here. Send it to me in the private chat. Okay, cool. Let's yeah, because I can't. Nice. Got it. I tried to look it up, but <laughs> I'm probably like other people trying to just write it down really quick. And yeah, there you go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, to see which have it posted, so they could all pull it off, copy it. All right. So yeah, and going back to that 3K a month, you know, I mean, there's different different ways of doing it, you know, and and in the ebook that we did create, uh, we basically have a seven step process. So you know, of course, step one, you always want to do your research, uh, make sure that you're researching the areas around you, um, network with uh, local other uh, repair shops. I mean, because that you can get business from them as well. Um, you know, that's the easiest way. It is. Yeah, it is, of course. So, of course, step one, do the research. Two, you always want to network. And then three, you know, that's that's when you decide that you want to go all in, get, get the equipment and uh, the supplies on hand. And then, of course, uh, once you get that, you can uh, start buying devices. And for the devices, I recommend buying like broken, you know, somewhat broken screens that that still have functional touch and they're fully operative. So that way, you know, if you're messing something up during the practice trainings that you're doing. And then once you're set up there, you're comfortable, you could set up your lab and 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 go from there. You know, uh, B2B is a big one. Uh, phone flipping is another huge one because you can buy the broken screens, which Everyone out in the industry knows that the OLED panels is like the either first or second most expensive part on those devices. Yeah. And so about sourcing the screens, is there any creative ways to source broken screens? Now, I know walking into stores is actually a good idea. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. I know some people that have started refurb and they just walked into the local stores and was like, can I buy your broken screens? And some stores were throwing them away. Some were selling them to a local mm -hmm. person. Some were selling them to wholesalers. And I think people in the industry assume sometimes that all stores know the same information and that's just not true. Correct. Some yeah. stores don't know that you can sell screens. Some stores don't have people to sell them to, or they're selling them and they're getting like a really low price. So you can come in a couple dollars more and get those from them and be right there in demand. So I wouldn't assume that every store knows the same information. You know what I mean? Oh, that's correct. And that's the thing. I mean, a lot of stores, they get too busy. They have these broken screens and you'll be surprised to just have them sitting there in piles. And, you know, that's, that's just money sitting there. So if you can I go in there we have two boxes that i found this morning organized in a closet that are yeah just you're like oh look screen. at this yeah i'm like oh <laughs> 
uh, should I send those off? Do I really want to do that? Or should we just toss them? You know, like, that's what I thought. I was like, is it worth it to me to go and get a label? And you know what I mean? Like, that's the thought that I had. So I feel like other people have it. And I definitely know that you can sell them. And I even had that thought. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So it's like if you were to, if somebody was to walk in today and say, hey, do you have any screens that I can buy? I would be like, you're a godsend. Come back here and take yeah, the talk from me. What do you want? You know, what do you want to <laughs> give me? Yeah. And so there's different ways. I mean, you can reach out to local repair shops. Um, eBay is another really big platform, too. Um, you know, you can buy um, full devices for, you know, a fraction of the price and, you know, learn the disassembly side. If you're not familiar with with the Samsung model, the iPhone model, you can learn how to tear them down, put it back together. And of course, do all those steps without damaging the panel, because as the newer the devices are getting, the more uh, adhesives and glues and everything that's on there that that makes it a little difficult that you want to be very gentle removing the panels from them. Right, right. Uh, let's see here. What is the best model to start with? Uh, best models, I would say on, on the Samsung side, I'd say go with, you know, like S9s, S10s. I mean, those are still uh, relative. I mean, they're pretty old models. And for the price that you're going to be able to get those for, those would be a really good practice model to get started. But as a business, like, should you specialize in one or the other first? Like if they're looking at like, should I start with iPhones? Should I start with Samsungs? Like what is? Well, what I would do, I mean, me personally, I would say start with Samsung, you know, uh, only reason being is because um, most repair shops out there, they're going to be selling aftermarket LCD screens for the iPhones, you know, so aftermarkets are relatively the most cost effective way for any consumer to purchase. And that's what they're going to go with. You know, I mean, majority of the consumers out there, you can educate them all you want, but there's, they're going to want to go with the cheapest repair that they can get. So they have their phone working again. So, um, generally the aftermarkets, you'll find those on all the 12s and below. So, you know, 13s and 14 series are still kind of not, not so many breakage on there, but mm -hmm. you'll get more volume with, with the Samsungs. And then again, of course, uh, Apple watches is a big one and, and iPads. So, say Apple you know, I was going to say, yeah, I really can't cross out. I was going to say go lean towards Samsung since that's what we do. But um, I would say iPads for sure. And then Samsung's, you know, and then once yeah. you start learning the techniques, it's all, you know, you can cross cross uh, use it and everything. Right. OK, awesome. Um, yeah. So I'm just thinking about the things that I've heard people struggle with or actually succeed at. I mean, I I wrote about on our website, actually blogged about one of our students years ago. He ended up opening like a facility and doing refurb. And he started like from his uh, an extra bedroom in his house. Uh -huh. And within two, three months, he was literally needing to upgrade into a warehouse and he sells yeah. them immediately overseas. Like he's collecting them from the U.S. He's refurbing them. And, and he told me. Up immediately they're sold yeah, once he's that's done amazing yeah if you, want, if you guys want to see that I, I will link that below it's a blog that i wrote about him and he said i could write about him uh awesome. because it was really just a unique situation but uh he just wanted to share a story because he's like yeah. if i can do this anyone can do this you know what i mean um so yeah. he had no experience at all and did refer but let me i'm gonna try to find that real quick yeah, it is totally doable, guys. You know, you just got to think outside of the box and see which uh, channels that you want to reach into, you know. And then, of course, once you start uh, hitting certain channels, uh, just learn to delegate those uh, channels and, and move to different ones. So mm -hmm. it's just all about the outside of the box and seeing what market opportunity you have. Like lately for us, uh, we do a lot of mail-ins. Mail-ins is really big for us. We just started doing a lot of B2Bs. And then, um, you know, we do the retail. So just with that and, and our four or five employees here, it keeps us pretty steady so but we do see the growth end of things so we're slowly growing every day and every year somebody asked a question what is best all in one equipment to replace a tablet touch screen he says i have eight inch and above eight inch and above well well our equipment that we like to use we use the OLED 2022 that's uh 13 inch laminator so that's going to be able to fit in your eight inch tablets and then even up to size uh 13 inch tablets so that's my uh basically my preference of choice for for equipment standards you know there's other different types of equipment as well airbags and and everything like that but but we like to use the plate laminator okay and wayne says know your screens i won't pay top dollar for non-original screens i won't pay top dollar for non yeah of course yeah i mean that's part of the education as well that's something you know learn i mean you can't refurbish anything if it's not oem so and then like i said you can try educating your customers on OEM versus aftermarkets, but 
you know, just give them options. But majority of the time, I'd say like 80, 90 percent, they're going to go with the cheaper quality screen. So I, I've but I've heard somewhere before some aftermarkets can't be refurbed. I don't think that was true. Is that not true or is that true or? Uh, I'm not you know, to refurb, so this is I wouldn't something. recommend it. I just wouldn't recommend it. I mean, you might be able to refurb a hard OLED or something, but you know, I, I wouldn't even spend the time to do it, you know, really? fitting and all okay. that. Yeah. I, I'd say just stick to OEMs. Yeah, don't don't mess with any aftermarket refurb. What is the thought behind that? I mean, if the if the aftermarket is a pretty high priced item, why not refurb it? Well, I mean, you know, if it's a really high priced item, then then you may have the option to, but but the way they're designed and if, especially if it's a hard OLED, it's gonna it may break even easier during the their, during the process than a soft OLED. So if you think about it, you spend you know an hour or two trying to uh, refurbish or refurbish aftermarket screen, and you don't get the outcome of an OEM, then you're just gonna waste mm. time. So yeah, you okay. just you just don't want to yeah do do aftermarkets. <laughs> it's mm. a no no. That's interesting. Okay, all right. Um, but then again, I mean, sometimes you might have an aftermarket. OLED, well, see, so now we can throw a different curveball because you have digitizers and then you have OLED panels and LCDs. So you might have an original OLED or LCD with an aftermarket digitizer layer. If that's the case, then you can refurbish it. So, yeah. you know, so it's like a yes and no, but. But all that comes in training and, and mastering it and understanding the way. Because I look at the wholesalers' websites, right? Like I've got one pulled up, and I'm like, okay, if I have an aftermarket screen that costs me a few hundred dollars, and I put it in the customer's phone, or they come back and it's broken, and I have the capabilities to refurb, but I can see that they're actually not that pricey. So I'm like, okay, no. <laughs> yeah. When I compare, I never thought about it when I'm looking at the OEM versus the aftermarket. I guess because. I don't think about refurb yeah. all the time, you know? So I'm like, oh, okay, now I get what you're saying. Um, yeah, wait, what model are you looking at right now? I was I'm look, well, I was looking at the 13 and the 14, but they don't have there's aftermarket no, yeah, listed. Yeah, there is none. There isn't any. There's none. <laughs> I was like, why have I never paid attention to this before? Uh, but then I looked at the 12 Pro 12 Max, Max, and the aftermarket is like $96 or $68, and then yeah. the OEM is $315. See? Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, you really can't. I mean, there's going to be a few customers that will pay that. 350 380 price tag after labor for the OEM yeah. versus but then again you're going to tell someone 200 for an aftermarket you want to spend 200 or 400 you know so just just wow. really depends on the client and that was so. on injured gadgets if anybody was wondering i was looking okay. at it. uh all right so some people have asked some questions here how to acquire oem screens uh, OEM screens, I mean, I, I guess uh, you missed out on that, but we just mentioned to you, mm -hmm. Gerald, I mean, just go out to your local repair shops. A lot of individuals, they'll sell them. They have them in piles and they sell them. Or you could even search uh, platforms like eBay, maybe even like a uh, Facebook market. You know, you can find a lot of broken devices on there and purchase them from users. So and and listen, I literally have gone to eBay because years ago, like when you could refurb like with string and like, you know, oh, yeah. like when you could do it with your hand. Remember the Samsung? You could just use like a card and the glass came off like. Oh, yeah. Ten years Same ago. Frame. Yeah. Yeah. And and we would go to eBay or it's probably like eight years ago, but we we would go to eBay and look for lots. So they have lots of screens. I don't know if that's still a thing, but people like sell broken screens in lots, but you can't verify if they're OEM. So I don't know if that would be a good thing or a bad thing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, you always consider aftermarket tablet screens, Samsung Galaxy S7 aftermarket. Hmm. I didn't even know that they made aftermarket S7 screens, especially Samsung. Those are OLEDs, I believe. So Samsung I know with Samsung, you're not going to find any aftermarket screens for Samsung's. You know, I mean, yeah. unless unless you're buying some kind of uh, I know I've seen some on the S10s. They're just yeah, you don't want to do that. You want to stick to OEM. And that's a, that's one of the biggest things as well as when refurbishing an industry. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find many, many Samsung aftermarket screens just because, you know, mm -hmm. Samsung owns the technology and the OLED that it doesn't go anywhere. It's just trying to mm -hmm. duplicate it and, and clone it. It's not as easy that that the iPhone does. I don't know why, but it's just it's crazy. You know, wow. Um, Stellar says we use Nail Cure Box S3 Loca. Nail Cure Box. Okay, so they're using a so they're using a, a Loca probably. Yeah, the Loca. Okay, liquid optical. It's probably old school. He's talking about because local yeah. is like a thing, right? I mean. Yeah, the thing is, it gets messy because you don't have the control as the OCA, and if you get a little bit of that liquid that goes in there and it touches any kind of electrical component, it's gonna fry everything out. So. You're yep. going to cure the top, but you don't know what's underneath it. And once you zap it and, you know, the foam moves around, you're going to yeah. have frying. And the good old days, you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it, it is it is garbage. 
It's it garbage. is garbage. Um, okay, is there anything else we want to cover? I mean, you guys go get the free ebook. I mean, it is. Yeah, you know, make sure you guys get the ebook. It's got a lot of uh, you know perfect, questions yeah. that we go over, um, and then of course like a little seven step guide for you guys to get started if you guys are interested in getting started. Mm -hmm. Really cool and information. Yeah. And the online courses are just, I mean, literally you can go to sell Botics online. Yeah. It's, you can print it, you can have it in yeah. digital form. Uh, the online courses, if you just go to uh, sellboticsonline.com um, or even, um, you know, their website for their in-person, cause that also has online on there. So either website uh, and you just, you know, look for, you'll see it right on the main page and just click it. Yep. You'll be ready to go. You'll it's see there's so many there. options. They start at a hundred dollars. And you can just buy per phone or you can buy the whole package. It's just a few hundred bucks. I mean, it is really great pricing. And then if you have questions, you guys can just reach out on the portal. We'll make sure that we get that over to, to Javi and his team so they can reach out to you. Yep. Yeah, we'll have a private uh, group available. So once you do purchase the course, if you get stuck or anything like that, just get in the group course and we'll be there answering whenever you need assistance. And then, of course, if you do get stuck in a certain spot, then uh, we do have a one-on-one -on -one consultation. So. You know, so just remember, guys, video is going to be a little a lot, lot different than than doing anything hands on, you know, hands on. You're there with with your master teaching you and, and seeing every move. So mm -hmm. yeah, just just expect a, a, a longer learning curve when you're doing everything over video. Yeah, I really want to stress that because we also get that a lot with our online programs. People think it's like the same it's not mm -hmm. the same if you're in person because we can physically touch your hands so oh, yeah. if you're someone that's really concerned about the money you're going to invest go in person if oh, yeah. not if you're like i'm a self-learner i can learn online then definitely go with that um but either way just be ready i mean you know it's going to take time to learn if you're doing online it takes a little bit longer if you're someone that's already doing refurb you can do consulting right you don't even have to be in the course you can just reach out on your site and you do one-on-one -on -one consulting mm -hmm. Yeah, if definitely. Yeah, yeah. If, if you get stuck, anything you need, we, we do consultation, you know, so um, okay. I highly recommend it. We'll, we'll set up a little video and whatever you have questions with, I'll do a demonstration where you're getting stuck to help you get past that process. Awesome. Um, so we've got some final comments here. Um, aftermarket tablet S7, S6, no way. Like yeah. lower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're probably using the tape, same type of screens that the S10 aftermarkets are, but yeah, I don't, I, I wouldn't recommend it. One, one, one wrong fall on that tablet, that screen will just go out completely. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ahmed. I will be What's up, Ahmed? <laughs> Wish you Good to see you, my friend. Uh, and then Gerald says, Oka was difficult to Oka still a thing, question mark. Oh, yeah, Oka still is. I mean, that's that's the standard Oka. You know, that's, that's what we're using. That's what the OEMs use. Um, you know, it's very, very easily applicable, especially on the flat screens. I know on the curve, that's where a lot of people have a little bit of hurdles is because, you know, return bubbles, delayed bubbles on the edges. But, um, you know, with all the right parameters, uh, the mm -hmm. right glass, and of course, uh, the, the right OCA, you just got to make sure that you're using the right stuff, which is, uh, that's why it's very, very critical to find someone locally that can mentor you and show you guys what, what they're using and what works for them. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you're going to find sellers internationally saying, get this, get that. But, you know, in the long run, they're sellers. They're not here using that type of stuff every day on a day-to-day -day use. Mm, that's a good point. I mean, how does someone find someone? Oh, you mean local as in the U.S. To yeah, local, them? like like us. I like, do what this, you're like saying. Us, yeah, yeah, ourselves, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, I'm not like, saying, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes cities don't even have a refurber. Yeah, and that's the thing. <laughs> refurb is still niche, you know. we It's been right. niche since, since we started like seven, eight years ago, and it's still kind of, it, it's making its trajectory now because people are now seeing the, the advantages of using OEM and, you know, with Apple serializing everything, you're able to do things and, uh, you know, right. uh, kind of relieve all the error messages and all that. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, we're here, we're changing our standards. We're finding new solutions that make it faster in the repair. You know, like this new two one glass, it works great because we're able to use it in frame and out of frame. And it's a 125 UM. You're not going to get any kind of thickness. Glasses are going to sit flush. You can get a quality finish and you're mm -hmm. not going to be you know, spinning your wheels, trying to get a perfect application, laminating the OCA to the glass, which, you know, we've done that. And we're like, no, let's not even mess with that. We're going to save a good 30, this 45 minutes. This is way over my head. Yeah, we're <laughs> no, I'm listening because yeah. everybody that's watching is probably really loving what you're saying right now. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know anything. Like, about but I think I oh, could learn from you. I am totally 
like if I wanted to learn, I knew I could. I, 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 yeah. I, you know, it's something I've thought about a lot because we do have a big team and we're in a big city and I know there's demand for it. So I've thought about it. Um, someone has commented here, say goodbye to phone troubles and hello to expert advice from, there you go. Ah, right. yeah. flexible. Thanks brother. <laughs> Check him out. Hex.com. 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 He's there. He's a man. All right. And this one is. TBK four or five. Built-in compressor 220 US, good. Yeah, and that's a good starting point. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want, if you don't want to break the bank, you know, go with something, you know, like like Wayne's recommending. But if if you're all in, you know, I mean, me, I've learned I've learned my lessons. You know, I'll start off with something, and I was like, you know what, I should have got this. But um, you know, you guys are open to getting any kind of equipment you guys want. But I mean, we'll give you our professional recommendation. But at the final, you're you're uh, it's your option of what what you want to get. And of course, buying from us, you're going to get our support. You're going to get what we use right. and we're going to show you what works exactly. So that's I'll the tell you my nightmare story of buying overseas. So remember, like, again, way back in the day when they had those like five in one machines where it had like an autoclave and a little laminator, oh, yeah. and, mm -hmm. you know, and I bought one direct from China, like six thousand dollars, got it and it didn't work. Yeah. Like. And, and I was so upset and it took me like over a week to finally get the wholesaler of me complaining, like yeah. really hardcore complaining. And finally they video called me and it ended up being a little rubber grommet was turned too much to the left. Ah, uh, okay. And it wouldn't so turn it's probably, because of pressure. Yeah. It, it probably wasn't getting a good seal and just like, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the and thing. I was just like. But they just wanted to blow me off. Like, oh, it works fine. You're using it wrong. Read the manual, which was translated and, and it didn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, oh, yeah. let's see here. Somebody talking about a blue laser. Do you guys use blue lasers in, in refurb? Uh, we use fiber optic. We, we don't use the blue laser machine. Just, uh, you know, the blue laser is a great machine. And, you know, I actually just did a uh, product unboxing on another one by Swara. Um, it's a really cool Actually, you guys want to see it? Like it's it's sitting right next door. Let me go grab yeah. it. You guys can take a look. Yeah, at it. Do it. I honestly think this is like the most affordable blue light laser that I tried. It was like eight hundred bucks. You know, so let, let me go grab it real quick. Give me a minute. I'll show you guys a little sneak peek. You guys have any more questions? Please post them before we get off of here. Can he can actually answer them? I'm just here to tell you about the online training and to share links, like, <laughs> and to try to ask questions as a beginner. <laughs> Because that's, that's really what I am. If I wanted to do a refurb, I'd be a beginner right now. All right, he's going to show us. All right, check it out, guys. So this is one that uh, company swore. They just sent it to me. I did an unboxing on it and a little uh, test drive on it, and it worked actually really good. Cool thing with this is it has the filtration system. What? So you can see these little tubes here where it'll connect and you have your blue light right in here you see that pretty cool wow. huh so yeah it was about uh i think this one he, he's got all kinds of coupon codes going right now it's probably like about 850 900 bucks shipped to you you know hmm. pretty cool and it has the filtration boxes as you guys know if you're using blue laser you do have a lot of um you know bad odor that comes out of it so it's do you use box. that for reefer or is that it's back, for back glass? glass back glass okay, okay yeah, yeah okay for back glass so so yeah that's this bad boy right here if you guys want i'll share a link to it so you guys can uh, take a look yeah, at it and then i have great. a coupon code so if you guys are interested in i don't get any kickbacks from it but yeah they just sent it to me so um juan says hi guys what's your experience with hybrid hybrid oka Hybrid, uh, I don't, I don't like hybrid. It's just, you know, it's, it's really hit or miss, you know, especially like on the S twenty series. Those that, those are just very, very stubborn. And hybrid is not a fan of heat. So um, yeah. whenever, whenever you're using heat and you're UVing at the end, you know, you may get a lot of return bubbles. So I'm oh, all wow. about it. I'm, I'm all, I'm all about using now a uh, UV curable Oka. So it's in a soft state, and you'll laminate. And that once you get done laminating. You throw it in the UV light for about 120 seconds and it hardens it. So that way it prevents any kind of uh, return bubbles. And that's a TMS Oka. So it's uh, by a different different Korean brand. Okay. Right now I solder even 13 Pro Max display I see. Oh yeah, you're the man, dude. That's awesome. So what he's talking about there is he's doing uh, solder, uh, basically uh, transferring the ICs on the mm -hmm. tablets, right? What did he say it was for the iPhone 13? Yeah, iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay. 
So now I solder. Yeah, and see, and that's a lot of work, guys. I mean, he's basically doing a reball job. So with Apple uh, OLED screens, they have a, what do you call it? Like a, a notification. Anytime you swap a, swap a screen, it, they're serialized. So what he's doing is he's taking off the little serial chip off the old screen and then putting it onto a brand new OEM screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so that'll actually keep you from getting that error message saying the screen is non genuine, even though it really is genuine. You know, Apple's just trying to control who does the repairs and oh. they don't want you to repair. They just want you to buy brand new, which is terrible. They're the, they're the culprits of e waste. They, they're creating all that e waste. Damn it. I feel a rant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always on a rant with that whole but whatever. <laughs> Good profit on refurbished screens. Awesome profit on full component LVL repairs. Component See, level good repair. on component level repairs. Go, yeah. yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Let's see, default level to me was eight for ten doing iPhone screens. That's good, man. I mean, that that's a good run rate. Eight out of ten is great. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. And then uh, YMJ bigger one. That's uh, bigger YMJ flat plate man, uh, laminator. Hey, hey, Kikano for life, Hexi. Uh, <laughs> get yourself trusted Alibaba supplier. Okay. Yeah. Lots of good questions. If you guys have any other questions, let us know. Mm. I'm going to send Nicole that a uh, link for that blue light laser machine so you guys can take a look at it. He wants to know what you think of the DLS 300 test box. It's great. You know, I love that testing box. We use it here every day. The beautiful part about that box is it allows you to do uh, Samsung and um, iPhones. So, um, but there is a new one out. I don't know if you've heard. There's a S400 box. That one, um, from what I've understand, I believe it does Apple Watches, and I think it might even be start doing tablets. So I'm really looking forward. I'm not going to buy any more test boxes. I really want to wait for one that's going to be able to do watches and mm. uh, iPads. Because if you have one test box, I can do them all. You're not going to have to be worrying about buying all these different wow. devices. Or China, did you hear that? China. China, did you hear that? We need one that just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're on it. They're on it. I've been telling them. So you guys got to hurry up, but they'll get on it. I might be going in person. What's the best phone to get that? I could sneak in there. Oh, to prison? I would say the light phone. It's, it's the smallest <laughs> I'm totally phone. on board with this. Just like, here's the no. box. <laughs> if you really want to try to get a phone in there, I mean... It's small enough that you could probably hide it in places where that's you know, partaking in this day. conversation. <laughs> but yeah, the light phone, I mean, you're Do not, not going to bring get a phone in prison. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll Tony, go with it. I'll good question, it. though. We're here to answer all questions. So Javi is here to help. He's, yeah. he's got you covered. Um, I'm not sure what this is about. The fiber octet, be careful, very easy damage if you're doing a by fiber right? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if, if, you're, if you don't have your template right, you can zap something, but. You know, they have different molds that you could put over it. So, still gonna use a laser. Remember my Ford Max? Yeah. But you'd be surprised, Wayne. There's a lot of people that do it with just a hot air gun and a blade. You know, I've seen a lot of clean results mm -hmm. with that. I'm actually gonna try doing one. Maybe I'll do a video comparing blue light laser versus a hot blade and do like a time trial right next to it. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, Nick has asked, do you have plans to screen free refur refurbishing training? Oh, yeah. This is, this is, it depends on where he's watching that he's probably might not be uh, just jumping yeah. on now. But yeah, this is what we're here talking about. So you can go to sellboticsonline.com or get the other website. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually go to uh, Javi's website. Oh, it's way up in the comments. And actually take an in person. Let's see here. There we go. Okay. So if you want in person, you'd visit uh, that website. Or if you're familiar with Cellbotics, you can just go to cellboticsonline.com, click free items in the menu, and download the free ebook um, that uh, Javi made. Uh, and then you can also just go to our homepage, scroll down a little bit, and you're going to see right there his photo and the courses and the refurbishing courses. Prices are fabulous, so it's gonna it's gonna be really easy for you to get on there and learn. Um, okay, so he's okay. I think he's asking what you've already kind of talked about. Uh, oh, there we go. It's a DSL four hundred. Four hundred. Okay. Yeah, that's something that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna send you this link right now, Nicole, so you can okay. post that on the chat about this little laser machine that I have here for anyone interested. In taking a look at it 
know, for the price. I mean, anyone want to get started back glass? I mean, shit, you'll be able to make your money back in a couple of repairs. <laughs> awesome. Let's see here. Okay, let me get this link. Okay. What is this that you're sharing? This is a. This is that little uh, swore laser that they just sent me. So, it's a blue light laser. It's about 800, 900 bucks. The AliExpress link. Uh, there's one on Amazon and AliExpress. Got it. Okay. There's two. So I'd say Amazon, but I'm sure maybe Ali would might be cheaper. Right. Okay. All the links earlier. are in the chat, guys. If you're looking for the links, look in the chat. All right. Let me see. So we can do LCD iPhone by having trouble with frame adhesion on the OLED models. Uh, let me see. Uh, are you using cold press? Stellar Stellar with the LCD. Yeah, because the LCDs, those are already cold press frames. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I'd highly recommend using a cold press adhesive and then some clamps to cure it. Only thing with cold press, it does well, take a little while to dry. I heard that cold press was having some quality issues. I just heard that like a few weeks ago. And there were people were talking about using this AB glue. Have you? Maybe. I don't know. I, that might be a two in one kind of like yeah. a uh, epoxy mm -hmm. type glue that I've heard. I, I think I've tried that on the previous ones when it first came out with the tans. And the thing is, that glue is, if it's the same one, it, it dries very, very, it's like a super glue, like epoxy. So, I yeah, I think that's it. Because it's yeah, really, it might cool. be it. It might be good. I'll have to do a video on it. Let me see what is it, AB glue? AB glue. You can get it on injured gadgets. Okay. You know what? I'm going to purchase one and I'll do a little comparison video. I think that'll be yeah. something great. I could do like a. I would love that because we're using it, glue. but we, we use the cold press glue for random things. And yeah. We use cold press all the time, but if this AB glue, if it if it dries well and it's not so hard and in case you do have to rework or anything like that, then it may be a, a great solution to uh, to get into. So I'm going to definitely get that. And I'm sure the curing time is even faster, too. Yeah. Yeah. Tried orange magnet clamps. Yeah. What I recommend, too, is um, you can even use like the phone clamps. If you just put phone clamps around it, you can put some clamps around it to make sure that it, it gets a good solid hold. But also make sure that your, your cold press is a good quality because there's a lot of cold press out there. And if you're not getting the, the good quality cold press, that could be a big issue too. Um, and someone just joined, Thomas Brown. He's, uh, I'm just starting up, don't have a shop. Can I do this without having a shop? We talked oh, yeah. about this in the beginning, but let's talk about that again because we do on our channel specifically, we have a lot of people watching that are wanting to be self-employed and a lot of them have jobs and they want to start something from home. And I feel like this is something they can do. And oh, yeah. before you start, Javi, I want to tell you, Thomas, if I'm going to post our blog. So if you go to sellbotics.com, you go to our blog, you kind of go through, you'll see one about one of our graduates who actually did that. And I, and he let me write his story up. We actually, I interviewed him. And, and so I'll post that again while you talk about that, Javi. For sure. Yeah. Well, welcome Thomas. And uh, we, we wish you the best in your startup business. I know you're going to do great at it. And that was something that we started. We started in our, in our back bedroom doing repairs like that. So um, yes, it is something that you can do at home. You don't need uh, a lot of uh, fancy stuff to get started. You know, um, I highly do recommend check getting this ebook that we did create. This is just uh, a 3K per month that you can make in revenue with this ebook, which uh, there's a link that Nicole posted. It's all on her website as well. So yeah, yeah. you can go to sellboticsonline.com. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and the courses. Uh, Thomas has taken some other courses of ours. Um, so, Thomas, if you go to sellboticsonline.com, you just scroll halfway down the page. You're going to see his photo. You click it, and you can you can try one. You know, you can watch, see how to get started. You've got equipment listed in each one, hobby, right? So they know what equipment to buy yeah. and mm -hmm. all of that kind of stuff. So it kind of goes over. Each course is going to give them an intro and then go into that device. Correct. Yep. Or do they need to buy the whole package one? Well, each section has a course description and then it goes over the repair that we're going to be doing, but they are broken up. So if, like I mentioned to you, if there's someone mm -hmm. that's stuck in a certain step, they could just go directly up to that step and just purchase that one thing. You don't have to purchase the whole course. You know, you I see. That one but step. if somebody's just starting out like Thomas and they don't have any experience in their oh, yeah, get the, the whole process. course. Yeah. I recommend just, just getting the whole course. If refurbishing is something that you do want to get into, just purchase mm -hmm. the course get as much information that you can. And then we're going to also have a separate chat on there. So once you start uh, doing some repairs, get your hands on, you have questions, just post them in there and then we'll be lively active on there to help out with any kind of questions that you have. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Um, let's see, what are your thoughts on mechanic brand cold press glue? This is the one that I heard that was having quality issues. Yeah. I don't know. Potent, I'm, I'm, but I, I just, 
I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't. I don't know. I've never tried it, and I wouldn't recommend it just because uh, I have tried a different type of mechanic glue that it didn't work. It was uh, it, it was more like a silicone type glue, but I didn't mm. like it. It didn't. It didn't get a good hold. So. Okay. Yeah, green metal clamp, and what I mean, Stellar, it's like the little foam clamps that you put on the tablets. They have these little um, it's like a silver. I don't know if I have one here. Do I have one here? I bet you I have one here. Let me see. Nope, I don't. But yeah, it's just a little clamp that we use on the tablets that we put all around the edges whenever we seal it up. You know, it's like a little spring-loaded clamp. If you want, send me a message on Instagram or uh, Facebook, and I can send you a photo of what I mean and how awesome. we do it. Stellar Cellular says, going to sign someone up for online course, and if need be, we'll fly her down for in-person. That's awesome. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, definitely. Feel free to come on down. The ebook e is listed at cellboticsonline.com. Just click free in the menu, or you can scroll down until you see Javi's photo and then click the course and all the information is there too. Um, so there's multiple ways to reach it. Um, also, if you scroll up in the comments, you're going to see links at the top where we've actually linked some of those pages and I'll paste in the links again. Uh, while you go ahead and answer this question, I'll find the links and link it up again. Go. Let's see here. All right, Wayne, bought the phone screen wet polisher. That's dope. Which one did you get, Wayne? I know there's a lot of them out there. But yeah, I, I hear that that does a great job, especially for, uh, you know, just, just hairlines and, and some scratches so you don't have to worry about replacing that whole, whole screen, you know. So for anyone out there that does want to do any kind of polishing, there is a different solution that you don't have to replace or refurbish the whole screen. Or you could just put a screen protector on and that'll get rid of all your scratches too. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to put in person bring all the links again so if you're just joining um then you'll have uh the links okay all right so we've got everything posted there i mean i think we've got uh, oh you're in canada ah canada <laughs> <laughs> there's gonna be some news coming out there's right secret, there's news. a secret going on about canada yeah <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Get um, ready for some big things in Canada, Stellar. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Great. Well, I mean, this was a great call. Yeah. I mean, we got had a, a great time. I'm excited for this. This is going to help people. Be sure to go get the ebook. Uh, if you want the online courses, you can get them. And then um, also Hobby's site, you know, they have in person online and consulting. So mm -hmm. check and out all of that. Hmm, and all the equipment and all equipment. So anything that you want to get started, uh, autoclaves, laminators, heating plates, we have everything here in the U.S. stock. So um, visit training.mrphonedoctor slash shop and you guys could check out all the equipment that we I have will, on hand ready to ship. I will post it below. So then it's just in there. Cool. Shop equipment. Just remember, U.S. based support. Yeah, U.S. based, U.S. support. And yeah, and we really want to thank each and every one of our viewers out there for joining us today. Yes. You know, without all you guys, uh, you know, we wouldn't be here. So thank you guys for all your support. And thank, thank you, Nicole, for having me once again. I'm really looking forward to all the training courses that we have planned going yes. here in the near future. So me too. It's very exciting being yes. able to share our knowledge to everyone out there. And and in the bottom line, you guys got to understand that that in the end, it's all about sharing and, and we all learning from one another to to help each other grow. So thank you I guys all out there for being here. Yes. All right. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you in the training, right? Thanks, guys. We'll see you guys. Bye-bye. See you on the next live. Bye. Yeah.